Well, it's a top story today and one that's been anticipated for quite some time. Finally, President Cyril Ramaphosa has made his announcement. The president has announced Shamila Batui as the new national director of public prosecutions. President Ramaphosa made the announcement at the union buildings in Pretoria. The NDPP heads the National Prosecuting Authority, which has been accused in recent years of failing to act against a rampant crime and corruption in the country. Meet South Africa's new National Director of Public Prosecutions, Advocate Shamila Batoy. The seasoned legal eagle was an instant favorite when she appeared before the advisory panel to test her fitness to hold office. Batoy told the panelists that the NPA is a house on fire and that she's ready for the heavy task ahead. If we can ensure that the NPA has credibility and trust as far as the public is concerned, then I think we've come a long way. The eight panelists tested the candidate's fitness to hold office with five key values, professionalism, service excellence, accountability, credibility and integrity. I almost think that maybe one of the measures of the National Prosecuting Authority should be how much of confidence does the people of South Africa have in the National Prosecuting Authority. And I think that is going to be really important in terms of moving forward. Patoy is currently a senior legal advisor to the prosecutor at the International Criminal Court since 2009. Before this, the focus fell on her when she led the prosecution of Proteus cricket captain Hansi Kronier at the King Commission for allegations of match fixing. Before joining the ICC, she served as the director of public prosecutions in KwaZulu Natal. She also became the first woman to be appointed as a director of public prosecutions in this province. During her time at the NPA, she was accused of racism by her subordinates. These allegations, however, were never proven. She told the panel that her priority is to secure the independence of the NPA. I can stand here and talk and say I will be independent if I'm the national director, but only the independent decision making will actually show, it's only the actions of the national director that will instill that confidence in the public and not me simply saying that if I'm the national director I will act with independence. So the acts of the national, it would be really important to ensure that independent decisions are made and the public can see that. There must be really strong governance principles, crucial, important, respect for the rule of law. I cannot underestimate how important it is that we respect the rule of law. During the interviews, the candidates painted disturbing pictures of factionalism, political meddling and unethical conduct that compromised the NPA's constitutional mandate to prosecute without fear or favour. As the new NPA leader, Batoy's biggest task is to unite the deeply divided institution, restore its credibility and integrity, but most importantly, claim back public confidence in the NPA. The picture is an extremely gloomy one, but externally in terms of, of the vision and what I think it's important to build confidence, those are some of the things that I would think about considering in order to tackle some of the external challenges that a national director would actually be facing. The organization has been plagued by controversies over recent years. These irregularities led to all NPA bosses to leave the institution under a dark cloud. And this means that since the NPA's establishment in 1998, none of its directors completed a full 10-year term. Advocate Batoy is South Africa's ninth national director of public prosecutions since democracy. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News in Pretoria.